Tonight, this is the scene right now at Logan Airport in Boston as the holiday travel weekend gets started. This Independence Day, nearly 48 million people are expected to hit the road or take to the skies, and thousands of flight cancellations and delays are putting many people's plans in a tailspin. Travel volumes are inching closer to pre-pandemic years with an average of nearly 2.3 million people a day going through airport checkpoints since Saturday. But traveling by air has been giving folks a headache for months now with a record number of cancellations and delays. 12 News reporter Amanda Pitt spoke to travelers at TF Green today and she's live there now with how their travel went today. Amanda. Well, Mike Shannon, the people we spoke to today had minimal delays and there were only a handful of cancellations here at TF Green today, but no guarantees for this coming weekend. Some airlines are already warning customers. One of the busiest travel weekends is upon us, but it comes at a time when cancellations and delays are worse than ever. I was supposed to leave Chicago at 1130 in the morning. I didn't leave until one. 47.9 million people are predicted to travel this 4th of July weekend by car and plane, up 3.7% from last year, according to AAA. The TSA has tallied more than 2 million flyers almost every day in June. And even with gas prices continuing to climb, AAA anticipates 42 million people will hit the roads this weekend, a result of flight cancellations and delays. I don't know why the delay was. They said they were too busy. That they, yeah, but they wasn't because of the plane I went on, it wasn't even packed. Just insane, absolutely insane. These folks are visiting Rhode Island from Virginia and only experienced a half hour delay getting to TF Green. But a few weeks ago, I was actually flying out of Reagan up to Montreal and we had a connection in Toronto and it was just absolute bear. We, you know, got to the airport early, did as we should, and then it was about three hours after that that we finally got on the plane. This weekend, prepare for a possible nightmare. Delta is even warning its customers that there could be problems and offering help, allowing passengers booked on flights between Friday and the Monday holiday to change their schedule at no cost. You know, just getting to the airport like wicked early and then having like a delay just it, it really just puts a damper on, you know, traveling and trying to enjoy the fourth and everything. Now, if you are planning to fly this weekend, experts say prepare for packed airports and have a plan B just in case your flight is canceled. Live in Warwick tonight, Amanda Pitts, 12 News.